Hey guys, I'm on my way to the beach and I felt inspired. I felt the Holy Spirit just touch me and say, hey, I have something for you to say. So I want to make it real clear. My channel is not about picking up women and finding your future spouse. My channel is about Jesus Christ. And what he did with me yesterday when I was laying in bed for a tiny little 15 minute nap, is he brought me into my inner hell. He showed me we went spiraling deep. I was in his presence and he held my hand and we went and he took me into hell, man. And it was painful and it was scary and it was uncomfortable, but he was with me the whole time. And I share that because I'm not the only one, you know, everybody in life is gonna go, you're either been through hurt, you're going through hurt, or you will get hurt. And so I wanna tell you guys about the great doctor and healer, Jesus Christ. He will be with you your entire life and everybody else could walk away and turn their backs on you. But the Lord, he is faithful through the good and the bad. He is there throughout your whole life. He's a firm foundation that you can always count on. And yesterday, as I was in the pits of hell, I was laying in bed. I said, let's go. I said, let's go, God. Here, here we go. It's game time. This is what you want. This is coming out of me right now. Let's take this trip. And something changed in me. I went to hell and I came back and I feel better. I feel freer. I feel like I leveled up. I feel more grounded. And so I want to share that with all you guys. If maybe you're not someone that thinks you need it. Maybe you're someone that thinks you have it all together and that's fine. But for anybody that needs a doctor, I wanted to share those two cents with you. That, that this channel is about Jesus Christ and I'll never lose sight of that. And with that being said, it's also a channel about me and my self growth and my journey and what I'm doing. I've been a successful person in business, successful in trading cryptos early. I've been fairly successful in my own little way. And now, as a guy that's coming out of a long term relationship, and then after that, I spent a lot of time working, I'm out here pursuing friends, networking, future spouse opportunities, things of that nature. So, and it's helpful to other guys. I feel like a lot of us guys are on the same page. We're all trying to meet and um, be our best selves and attract the best quality mate that we can. And we're fascinated by women and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Women are beautiful creatures, man. They're, 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 they're magnificent. And we are really cool kings too, man. We're guys that God made us special too. And God made us important. God gave us gifts. God made us the way we are for a reason too. So with all that being said, I want to say that a new confidence has arisen in me. And today, as I was finishing my run, I saw two beautiful women that were blonde as my type, as my type. And I didn't even hesitate. I walked over to them. I was stretching my arms out a little bit after the run. I said, hey, where's a nearby beach? I don't really like this one that we're at so much. It's a little small. Well, we don't really know. We're not from, one of us, one of them said, we're, I'm not from around here, but she is. And uh, they were a little nervous and I don't blame them. But I was relentless. I still said, well, okay, you know the name of the nearby beach here? She's like, well, you're gonna have to Google it. I said, okay, okay. And I, I looked at their books. And I saw that there were two Bibles and some notebooks in their hands. I said, oh, you guys do some uh, little Bible study here, huh? She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, go to, I go to Grace Church in Eden Prairie. I was like, oh, that's cool. I've been to a concert there. It was a Matthew West concert, you know, maybe like eight years ago. And she's like, oh, cool, cool. It's like, so where do you go to church now? And I was like, well, I'm kind of a YouTube church guy. I'm not going to lie, but from time to time, I do swing into Hosanna. So we're talking a little bit, you know, and 
that's just something that I would normally do. I'd be too nervous. I'd be too in my head. I'd already reject myself. Oh, they wouldn't be into a guy like me. But when you do the inner work, when you when you do the outside work, you're a worthy person. You know, you can you can shoot your shot with whoever you want, and you can have spark up conversation as long as the other person's reciprocating. And we were talking, and it was, uh, you know, my game was a little rusty, but I. You know, I, I, hey, I, I did the rep. I, I grabbed my balls and I did the ball rep, dude. And that's where I'm at. And as I was leaving, the girl that was more in the conversation with me, she said, I love your t-shirt, by the way. And I thought, that's great. I said, thank you. And I got in my truck and drove off. And it's little things like that. It's little victories, guys. These things don't happen overnight, but it's the little victories of, hey, I would have never done that before. Hey, I would have never had that unshakable confidence before. And so maybe you're a guy that struggles. I don't know how I'm going to gain confidence like that. Well, let me give you the recipe that nobody was born with rock solid confidence. Let me tell you something where confidence comes from, in my opinion, is go home and clean your room. Clean up the Dorito bag chips. To put away the pop, or empty pop cans. Make your bed. And, and clean up your room and have that little self-respect today. Maybe you can't out, go out there and conquer the world and talk to two cute blondes, but you can clean your room and then you can go for a nice walk and get some vitamin D from the sun. And you can say a prayer to Jesus Christ and tell him where you're at, that you're hurting, that you feel alone, that you feel depressed, that your self-worth is in the gutter. You can really tell him. And then he will instill wisdom deep inside your bones and inside your mind and tell you how you can flourish in this world. And he can be your right-hand man. I can't be your right-hand man. I can't be with you every day. But he can be your right-hand man as you get closer and closer to him. You will gain an unshakable confidence. And as long as you do the little steps, you will reap the reward just like everyone else. Everyone is out here and you got to put the work in. If you want to be good in the financial world, you got to put the work in. If you want to be good at the gym, you got to put the work in. If you want to be able to make girls laugh and have unshakable confidence, and you got to put the work in. If you want to make some real high quality guy friends, put the work in. And that's for you guys. That's all I got. There's a million YouTube channels out there. But guess what? My name is Thomas Hafen. This is my channel. This is what I have to say. And I hope it brings value to you today. I hope that you take one step in a positive direction and that you make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior today. Does that mean you're going to be perfect from here on out? No. It just means that you're on the journey of sanctification and your life will flourish in God's hands. God took dirt and he made a man out of the dirt and the dust. But now you're a man. Now what could he do with your life.